What is up, Canon family? Today's video is going to be on how to study the Bible using highlighters. Specifically, there are six colors. This is known as the six color coding method, coding system. Um, and this is really just how to study your Bible using highlighters and how to be really intentional with the way you read your Bible. Now, this is going to be a Bible color coding system and it's only going to be for beginners using highlighters. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been able to do this in my personal life and I've really seen my scriptural knowledge just go up. And it's allowed me to be really, really intentional about reading my Bible and reading scripture. And it's I've honestly just developed such a deeper understanding and I've only gone through the book of John using this and I've done 14, 15 different chapters and I've been highlighting left and right, annotating left and right. Like I literally love this six color Bible study method. So there's gonna be a couple things that you need in this in order to achieve this method and you can get them all online. I have links to them in the description. They're all affiliate links. So number one, you need your Bible study colors. Now there are a couple colors you need. Right, you got you got green, blue, yellow, purple, orange, and pink. Yeah, or pink, orange. You know what I mean. Now, you by no means have to use just these colors, but these are the colors that I'm going to be using in this video to show you how I go through the Bible. I each one of these colors represents something in the Bible that I like to highlight, and I just kind of know. But the more important thing is you may not have these colors, but what you really want is you really want these, right? to be consistent throughout your Bible study. Like you don't wanna to have to change colors, like you wanna have these same six colors because you're gonna be highlighting in your Bible. And you don't want a ton of different colors going on in your Bible, because if you're like me and have ADD, it's gonna drive you literally insane. Next is what you're gonna need is pens. Now, you don't need this, like you obviously need a pen, but I use specific pens for this. I use these microline pens, and they're very, very thin, um, and they don't bleed through as much as normal pens. And so I use these, so I highly recommend using these um, pens. I've gotten a lot out of them, um, but some of them kind of break easy, but I really like using these pens. Lastly, you're going to need your Bible. Now, this Bible, the one I'm using, I'm going to do a video on it soon, but it's the He Reads Bible, and I love this Bible. It has infographic, it's had charts, has like Bible studies for every chapter. Like, it's literally amazing. So, if, if you want to use this Bible along with me, uh, feel free. You don't need to use this Bible, but I highly recommend this if you're a guy. But they also have a girl version of it, and the girl version has a lot more devotionals than this one. So I highly recommend using it. And lastly, you're just gonna need an index card and you're gonna write all the Bible studies and all like the highlighting codes and you'll just stick it in your Bible on it. And this is what I use and I just, I really just love using it. I just can't say it enough. I love this method. If you want any of these, any of the products listed, like feel free to go ahead and buy them on Amazon. So we're gonna go through all these colors. Number one, blue, okay? Blue, what does blue do? Blue is what I write for things that are about God, like who God is, his character, his I am statements. Right in John, he has seven I am statements that tell him who he is. For example, he says, I am the bread of life, right? So I would highlight that. Or the different names associated with God or his character. He's been called the son of man, but also the Messiah, rabbi, a prophet. So he's been called a lot of things. So I just like to highlight them. Um, and then his character, right? God is a forgiving, compassionate, and loving God. And so anytime um, those character traits show, I highlight it. And this way, when I go back and I don't really know like a lot about God's character, I want to study it again, I already have everything listed. So that was blue. So now we're going to go over yellow. Okay. Yellow may be the most interesting color I've used for this Bible. See, yellow is, is what I use for prophecies or predictions of the future. And I'm going through John and there's so much prophecies in John and in the four gospels about God's coming. Literally the whole book of Isaiah is just dedicated to, uh, to highlighting <laughs> this prophecy. Like I've highlighted it so often. And what's cool about the He Reads Bible that I've been using is that they actually tell you where to find, um, where the predictions are and where to find it in the Old Testament. And so I've just been going whenever I come across him, highlighting it and going back to the Old Testament and really just studying it and seeing like, okay, what was the point of this prophecy? Because every prophecy serves a purpose or predictions of the future that Jesus has or just really anybody has. Um, for example, uh, Jesus predicted that Jesus would obviously betray him, right? The point of the resurrection, he betrayed him for a bunch of silver. And so I highlighted that where he stated it and then I highlighted it when it happened. And then I annotated, happened on this verse. And then when it happened in that verse, Everything was great. And honestly, um, just took my Bible prophecy reading like to the max. Number three, we're gonna go over is purple. Purple, um, this one's a little hard to see. So if you have a different color than purple, like maybe use a different color. Um, but I use purple to talk about the acts of God, like miracles he does, 
things like that. For example, Jesus turned water into wine. Or if you're studying the Old Testament, right, I'm recording this on Passover week. And so I've been doing um, a Bible study on the 10 plagues in the Passover. So I highlighted all the 10 plagues, what happened, and the annotating what they all meant. And this one's really cool because I, I never really paid attention to the miracles. And it, I know in the future when I do deeper, deeper Bible studies or when I go to do word studies or m different meanings, I'll know where all the miracles are. And so I'll just keep running across it in the chapters. And some of the miracles were actually predicted, which is cool. So that also gets labeled in purple and yellow. But I only just do purple for that one. Okay, next we're going to go over. Next is orange. Okay, orange. Orange are my memory verses. These are verses that I think are so awesome that I want to put in my arsenal. For example, John 3.30 says, He must become greater, I must become less. And I love that verse. That verse is literally amazing. And so I highlighted that. And there's other things like um, John 1, great one. Literally John 1.1, 1, 1, great verse to memorize. Or um, I'm doing like 1 Peter 5.7 right now. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. So yeah. If you have any verses that really stick out to you that are like, ooh, that's a low-key gem that you may want to use in a conversation, highlight in orange. And I'm, I'm really bad with memorizing scripture, but as soon as I started highlighting them in the same color, I really started to memorize different scriptures. So yeah, highly recommend orange for uh, memory verses. Next up is pink. Now, pink are all about God's promises. So anytime God promises you something in the Bible, um, you highlight it in pink. For example... God says, um, whenever you pray for something in Jesus' name, the Father will give it to you. So, highlighted that in pink because it's promising me that if I pray for anything in Jesus' name, the, uh, the Father will be with me. Now, lastly, this one is dependent on what you really want. You can do like a little word study on it. Um, but I use this one for the commands of God. So, anytime God gives me a command or gives someone a command, um, I highlight this in green. And not like commands like, go over here, like, no. I'm talking like commands such as love one another as you love yourself, right? Or, or really deep commands that serve like a higher purpose. Like, for example, when Moses in the Old Testament was throwing his staff on the ground, turned into a snake, God commanded him to do that. And he commanded them at a certain time and place to do that in front of the Pharaoh. So I highlighted that in green. But this green one can be substituted for really anything that you want. And if there's one of these, um, if one of these Bible study methods like didn't really... Um, you know, come to you or like, and you're like, and I don't really want to do that. Like, feel free to use that color to do something totally out of the ordinary. I know some people, um, money is a big part of their life or like they really want to know a lot about what the Bible has to say about money. And so they'll highlight all the verses that have to do with money. So you probably highlight it in green because green is money or relationships or love or a certain character trait that you really want to be. For me, I struggle with humility. And so that would be something that I do. So this was the six color Bible study guide. Now stay tuned if you want to see me do an example. We're going to be in John 15, um, highlighting and annotating as well. Get ready. See you there. So first off, we're going to start highlighting all the blue ones. So I highlighted when the counselor comes and the spirit of truth. Once again, down here, he says the counselor. Talks about the spirit of truth again. Remember that God is three people. So he's really talking about three different people in this, which is crazy when you think about it. Literally crazy. I don't really highlight the father because I know he's a father, but we're going to go ahead and highlight it for the purpose of this video. Now, you can't see what I'm writing down here, um, but I have not highlighted anything beneath it. Now, going to the next page, we'll have sorrow. See you again. So that's all I really saw about um, God's character and the I am statements. He said an I am statement somewhere in here, but that's not really an I am statement I'm talking about. So now that we highlighted all the blue, it's time to... Uh, now that we highlighted all the blue and who God is, now it's time to highlight it some prophecy in this chapter. So, um, he says... Where is it? Okay, so first, um, it talks about... It says, I didn't tell you these things. Now I am going to him who sent me. Boom. And not one of you asked me, where are you going? Right? He's prophesizing that he's going up to God. Right? This is obviously talking about the resurrection. Also, um, I just noticed something down below. Um, when he, In verse 8, he talks about he will convict the world about sin, righteousness, and judgment. So that's what the Holy Spirit does. So that is a character trait of the Holy Spirit. So he will convict the world about sin, righteous, and judgment. Boom. That was really only the uh, only really only prophecy in the chapter that I found. There's something that's worth memorizing. All right, next we're gonna highlight any miracles, and there were no miracles in this chapter, so we don't even need to use the purple highlighter. 
any memory verses. There are really no verses in this chapter that really stuck out to me, or ones that like I would like to memorize. Um, I wish there was, because I would love to highlight it, but unfortunately for this chapter, um, there wasn't. So, there was analogies, for example, um, in 1621, we talked about like the woman being in labor. Um, you can't see that because it's off the screen. That's a good one. But there's really nothing um, that I would ask. But there, there is a couple things when we talk about the next. Now, I would use this orange highlighter. Um, but unfortunately, there is nothing in this chapter that I really felt like I would highlight or use to highlight. So, um, especially for a key memory verse, I want to highlight something that really spoke out to me. And it's not that nothing spoke out to me during this. It's just that there is nothing that really, like, really was so powerful enough that I was like, man, I'd like to have that in my arsenal. Maybe one day it will, um, but for this time, it didn't. Now we're moving on to the pink highlighter. Number pink. Number pink. Ha, I'm so lame. Okay, pink. So, there were a couple promises in this chapter, right? For example, in verse 23 up here, he says, In that day you will not ask me anything. Truly I tell you, anything you ask in the Father in my name, he will give you. And what he's talking about is he's talking about praying in Jesus' name. And when you pray in him, um, that's it. Now, also, here's a key promise in verses 27 said, For the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed in that I came from God. Right? He's promising that if you believe, if the fa if you believe in me, the Father will love you. And it's kind of crazy. I, side note, right here, 29 through 32 is like, Disciples are like, finally you prayed to me. Finally you told me stuff in normal language. Now I get it. And he's, Jesus is like, man, now you believe, right? So anyways, there wasn't a lot to highlight in this chapter, especially commands of God or anything um, like that. So there wasn't really too much in this chapter. But hey, I can't promise you every single chapter you can use every highlighter. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. I really hope that you guys subscribe and stay tuned for future content because I love giving you guys content. Um, and it really helps me out if you just leave a like and comment on what you got out of it. It's JT signing out. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.